coming to you with another video fishing rod holder right here my wife got me I got another one over here too I don't know what that is going on but that's how I organize my my little man cave right here me, I'm, I like going fishing, so, you know, that was kind of cool with my wife. Gave me, always wanted one of these, but, you know, she finally got me one of these. It's pretty cool. Then right here, I also got um, this toolbox. You know, I'm working on it. Working on it. Got, you know, some catfish, uh, hooks, bass jigs, more jigs, carl crawfish, worms, you know, if you like me, I, rods break and I still got, I got to find me a good rod for this one. I got to mess around with the slingshot. Still working on it. So I got little batteries, you know, for like um, the air pumps. So that's a fishing section of my man cave. It's, it's gonna get uh, better. Hey, I, it's not enough. <laughs> I um, everywhere when I go into a bait shop, you know, I always want them. You know, I get a little extra all the time, so yeah, a little overflow goes into my little uh, fishing toolbox. Um, you know, it's something. Uh, you know, I don't really uh, see. I don't ever see anybody. You know, I see them put them on the wall, have the little hooks. But, um, you know, I just want to make a video of, uh, you know, a little toolbox. You know, if anybody out there, you know, send me a, a link. And, you know, if you're uh, fishing the way you organize your fishing, um, if you have a toolbox like I do, that you put fishing lures in and your string or rods. Yeah, for me, I love fishing. I've been fishing since I was little, you know, down there in South Florida. We used to, my grandparents used to take me like almost every weekend. Uh, we go down to Big Cypress and we had a couple of spots we'd go to. Uh, we used to call this one uh, place uh, the Spillway. And, you know, we used to catch a lot of big bass over there, a lot of crappie, um, bluegill, you know, make a nice uh, fish soup. You know, I miss, I miss those days. You know, my grandpa used to uh, clean up all the fish and, you know, we go out there and, you know, he'd clean them, we catch them, he'd clean them. He's old school, he eat all the fish. And uh, but when we get home, we get them all ready, you know, put seasoning on them. Um, you know, he, you know, on the side, sometimes he go get some crab, get some shrimp, and uh, make a little uh, fish soup, or crab soup. He used to say that the crab was just for flavor. I think he wanted us to eat it. <laughs> But, um, yeah, man, I miss those days, you know, being out there with my grandma and my cousins. Um, just having a good time, you know. That's what I try to do too with my kids, you know, take them out fishing. You know, we ain't got no four-wheelers yet. 
one day I might get some folders or dirt bikes and you know we I take them out we use the dirt bikes and folders go fishing um, I got them kayaks we've done the kayak um, you know, my, one of my, my son's got a, a kayak and you know we went out to one of the lakes nearby and you know we had a good time you know, I woke up early in the morning, went out with her with a friend. Uh, I think I had like two of my kids with me. And we went out there and went, tried to go fishing. You know, I'm, I was new, I'm new up here, so I don't, I don't know how the fish uh, bite. Uh, I was, we stayed out there pretty, uh, for a long time. I think we got, we left here like probably like five and got there like six something it was still dark and you know there was not many people out there but it was a weekend it was I think it was a Saturday and so we um we went fishing we started at the where we um boat the boat docks we started fishing there it was still dark so we started fishing there and as the light came out, um, we put the kayaks on the water and um, went out. It was, it was nice and peaceful out there. You know, listening to birds, you know, the frogs still going at it. But, um, yeah, so we went out there, we went you know, stayed on this spot and tried to fish and, you know, we didn't catch none, no bites. Um, then later on, like, we started seeing boats come out, you know, pontoon boats come out, party boats come out. And it was a nice, calm lake. And when they all started coming, it felt like I was at the ocean. It was like, I had to hurry up. We had to hurry up and my son is first time on a kayak so I had to you know had to wait for him and pull him and you know we had to get out because the water was splashing everywhere when we was going by we had fun that day you know even though we didn't catch enough we had a good time my friend he made a little fire and um you know my kids they you know supposed to be out there fishing they focus on just sitting around the fire you know just want to throw stuff in the fire but um yeah good times good times yep um so that's my you know I like going into a, a fishing taco store because you know they always got something like oh look try this this is something uh you know the bite that's biting out here and, um you know i'm not good at a lot of um uh lures you know i'm pretty good at bait cat uh crankbaits some worms and frogs like down in florida i use a lot of frogs and up here you know i try to I try to try to figure out how to um, get the fish up here. It's different, but um, that's what I like about it. You know, one day I'll be pretty good to where you know I won't miss Florida water so much. I just think it's like the water's different up here. But you know, when I catch that big one out here, I'm gonna be happy. But right now, that's um, but. You know, I got this uh, fishing section part of my man cave. You know, like you see a lot of like bears in the background. You know, I really, I'm really into bears. I like bears. But I don't want to get off topic. So, yeah, that's my little section. When my grandparents would take us out fishing we go out to the canal out there in Big Cypress and you know we you know we use worms live worms 
And that's where I started um, using artificial, you know, just using the little uh, crappy uh, jig baits. And we catch a whole bunch of, you know, there's all kind of fish out in Florida, invasive fish in Florida. It's like Oscars and cichlids everywhere. It's been, I think they've been pouring them fish in the water for like longest time. So, I mean, when we was kids, they, you know, we catch whatever. Um, I wish they had it up here like that, up here. But it's too cold for them fish to be up here, I think. Um... But yeah, man, we used to catch all kind of fish, uh, bass. You know, for a while I started <laughs> um, using uh, a cast net. You know, I know it's cheating. Um, but I just want to see it, like uh, what what is down there. Like, is there really fish, like a lot of fish down there? So one day I, I threw one down there. I threw a cast net down off the bridge and um, uh, on the canal, and when I it was heavy, man. I picked it up. It was a big old mudfish, or uh, what do you call it, bowfin? It was a huge one. It had to be like probably like close to four feet. It was huge. Me and my brother, my brother, um, he came and helped me, and uh, we picked it out of the water, and and it was so big. It like had like this red tail on it. You can see the teeth, and you know it's crazy that the mudfish they got like a t it looks like a real um, human tongue. You know when they you got their mouth open, it looks like a like a human tongue in there. It's crazy. But yeah, man, I, I miss those. I miss those days. You know, like going out. 